now we're getting into the game. So, on the team, five elements, Blitz, Bastion, Decima, Striker, Flatline. Unlocked. Very interesting to see the new Sentinel already. Let's see how much of an impact she will have. And on Team Zolo Zelda, we have... Uh, Warhead, the Rhino, Striker, Flatline, Blitz. Team Zolo Zelda is on the right side. Team Five Elements is on the left side. Uh, Mucky Monkey playing Bastion. Again, a Bastion in those lineups as a tank. He's, of course, quite got buffed after patch 29 with the custom items, and I believe he will take a lot of them. Yes. Blitz, the Seema. Very curious how this is going to play out. And finally, we're seeing a Striker on Ryuken! Who, of course, is a strong one. Tua Seed is a supporter in this lineup. I'm very curious how this is going to work out. I know that Tua Seed did quite some break from uh, Shards of War. He's coming back. He was a very good player. Let's see if the break harmed him or not. Tua Seed and Blitz apparently flatline and Blitz on bot and against Warhead. Sequel should, however, be able to push back both. Directly aggressive against the tower, trying to push the lane as fast and as hard as possible. Warhead, of course, will push it back. And mid lane, Razor is a little bit alone, uh, left alone against Bastion and Decima. Rhino and uh, Blitz, Super Galaxy Rumble, trying to take out Tua Seed on Flatline, who gets away just in time by getting support from Decima. Interesting actually to see that there are two support, one defensive in form of Flatline, one offensive in form of Decima. And let's see how they this is going to work out. In Syria, of course, Decima is a uh, area of effect. Uh, Sentinel, very strong. Rumbo is trying already to pressure. He can pressure as he has Watchtower in his control, so incoming gang should be seen. Rhino is deep in enemy territory, trying to take down the artillery drone, his super galaxy is happening. Warhead on bot lane is holding the lane. Let's see what he will respond to. The artillery drone taken. Uh, Monkey Monkey is going in with Bastion. However, he suddenly faces four enemy sentinels. He's getting a lot of support by the Sima, but not enough to actually survive. Striker needs to be careful. Ryuka comes a little bit late. He should have been maybe a little bit earlier in this. In this. Um, in this team fight to help his uh, team out <laughs> more. The tank, uh, the artillery drone was not taken by either, by uh, both teams. Now bot lane heavily pressured with two artillery drones. This is of course dangerous. Sipo Sipo needs to be more aggressive against this drone. He can't prevent the other drone from being taken, but now he actually focuses completely to be down. The second artillery drone is not locked on the tower yet. Therefore, her use is uh, rather B big mistake. Why is Super Drone pull back? Never pull back. The Tim Drone was locked on you. Now she's locked on the tower and she does damage. Rhino Tactics is going in, trying to do some damage. Blitz will have to try to escape. A little bit of a follow up uh, mistake by Sipo. Tactics out of position now. Miscommunication in this lineup. He can't escape. Beautiful, oh, but not good enough. Uh, she actually expected it and uh, her passive uh, managed to hit him and bring him down. Strike on top lane alone. Is he Ryukan? Is he pushing actively? He is pushing, always kills all range drones first. Now he will not see a striker incoming as the watchtower is not in their control. Warhead Super Super is pushing again into the enemy tower. However, giving now uh, is a little bit of a downtime because now he is, needs to push out far. To meet in the middle again. Blitz won't have a chance against a correct plate uh, warhead on bot lane as the uh, oops as the uh, range differences are just too huge. And Super Gazi Lumber is trying to take uh, bottom watchtower with the succeeded Bastion and Mysteria and uh, the Sima are taking the top artillery drone. Let's see if they're actually following up on this uh, unhidden uh, artillery drone and try to push with it strongly top striker against with the rhino they have now ultimates ready earlier than um, um yeah then um, yeah, five elements however not really willing to utilize it entirely they're Your trying to go for a for a gank but it didn't out work out entirely ultimate of warhead on the tower no he's playing it safe now a little bit of a of a gank of a team fights in 
mid very beautiful both teams are still fighting we have currently on five elements we lost decima let's see they can't really pressure further they need to fall back strike on top at the same time should utilize this more he should uh, dive into enemy jungle to take the artillery drone or to pressure this tower significantly more now he needs to retreat uh, already without doing anything so the one uh, death which they took uh, by the Sima team Zulu Zelda far more aggressive suddenly um, with the ultimate they are pushing harder and Romain 59560 welcome to the film people you also stay awesome have a good time so warheads on bottom pressured by two seat and blitz however he has no problems in getting away the Sima can use her AOE space I think it is her space to clean to check out Fog of War, which she does. Sees him running, retreats. They're going for tank drone currently. Still not certain what the general strategy is, as both teams currently still waiting for a mistake. We know Zulu Zelda is, of course, trying to get an XP advantage again, which they currently succeeded by being one level up top. Tower is in danger to fall down, to go down. Striker can not defend it anymore. Team. Uh, five element is not switching around to protect top tower. The striker will arrive too late. He should arrive too late and the tower is down. He has no chance to defend it. Bot lane now. They're trying to make a play there, I believe. They're missing, they're missing a little bit of damage, I, I, I feel like. Two, two sentinels um, support is maybe not the best choice. Not sure what the tactic behind this. Um, in order to utilize um, to utilize the potential of the Sima, better it would be wise to put uh, the Sima and Striker on one lane with his attack speed series. He can do a significant amount of damage with uh, the Sima's shield. Now Striker completely out of position, but they didn't manage to engage. Warhead still uh, pushing bot tower against Blitz, who barely can hold onto it. Sipo is very careful not to overextend too far. And uh, the game stagnates a little bit. Uh, we usually have more aggression, more play currently uh, in those games. I believe this game will be decided with the next Drake attempt again. Meaning that around 12-13 minutes mark, Team Zulu Zelda will try to make a play somewhere, split push and then immediately take the Drake down. Top tower is already down, so they have an open door to Drake. Um, their tower is still standing, quite healthy, so they can fall back easily. But not trying to push into the tower, they have an artillery drone taken down. But again, the artillery drone timing is bad. As you can see, it's actually in front of um, the minion, minion wave. Therefore, it takes already a little bit of damage, not too much. Now locking in on the tower, which again is a mistake by Warhead. He should have taken this drone uh, earlier he would have avoided quite some damage and they're getting artillery drone now on their own but um, let's see if they actually will capture it they could try to capture it there it is and let's see what their play will be Zolo Zelda is lurking around I believe for the Drake top lane striker should push so much harder he has a visual he definitely has a visual on those enemies he knows there are a lot in this area he should pressure this tower significantly he could have done a lot of damage now team fight and actually a team fight is going good for five elements completely out of position blitz dove dive too early the sima is saving flatline with her ultimate but damage is more important than actually healing up again and now team Zoro Zelda is catching up. Oh, actually no, they're dropping. It's two down for two down. Amazing, didn't uh, didn't expect this kind of outcome. You can striker joined his team, and now they're doing a lot of damage. Uh, it's uh, currently actually three sentinels down for Team Zolo Zelda. Only two down for five elements. This was a huge success. They need to utilize it immediately. They should go for Drake immediately, but they don't do it. And they're wasting a big opportunity there. Instead, they're going for Artillery Drone. Artillery Drone is right now not the best choice. Drake was completely open to be taken. Uh, and this is a huge blender. Uh, which uh, team five elements did there they had a good advantage they should have gone for drake drake was the best decision they could 
they could do uh, in this in this situation and they didn't utilize it meaning that Zolo Zelda will definitely wait for their moment and uh, come back very strongly team five elements is currently has a lot of uh, possibility in AoE team fights so team Zolo Zelda needs to avoid team fights in tight positioning with uh, flatlines AoE decimas AoE um, bastions AoE there's a lot of potential and if they're sticking together and uh, with two supporters of course they're maybe not too easy to be killed but still if they focus one one should uh, die very easily and uh, then just hit and run and till your spells are up again. Flatline and the Sima are on their way on bot lane. Let's see if they are capable of getting Warhead. No, Warhead knows they're coming. Now he actually still standing. The Sima immediately gives vision with her AoE spell. Tactics and Resurrect, however, moving in so they can't go for the fight. Mocking Monkey is uh, pushing into mid lane. However, he's facing Striker and Blitz and he won't be able to protect this. The Seema knows, comes back to protect. Now, however, Blitz completely alone on bot lane. They had a, a big blender. They were on bot lane, they were defending in and completely inefficiently. Everyone moved back. Now they have to move back again. They will lose this tower. I believe this tower will definitely go down and uh, nothing can be done. So two tower down for team five elements. They need to be more careful about this kind of play. They are a little bit inefficient. However, in mid lane, they're managing to take striker down. This is, this is not a good play currently by Zolo Zelda. I'm not sure what they're doing. They are currently in XP uh, on the same niveau as uh, five elements, which I personally find, find a rather uh, interesting to see um, as uh, I think at this point in time Zulu Zelda should be ahead but the five elements knows they know what they're doing they are stopping their advantage level wise constantly on the same age on the same level uh, I still believe five elements are a huge mistake they're not taking Drake down they would have been so much stronger maybe however they are having a sentinel liner which allows them to let enemy go in for Drake and then uh, rush in to steal it in front of the noses. As this positioning is very tight, their Sentinel Constellation could be very strong uh, to fight in this area. However, if they're making one mistake and they're losing two Sentinels, this will be... So we're currently now having five elements is heavily pushing bot tower, bot tower is going down. I currently see issues for Zolo Zelda. Zolo Zelda needs to get back into their game. They're currently falling behind. They're actually even one level behind. So where is the XP starving strategy of Zolo Zelda? This could should go better. And soon we have um, the last item unlocked for both teams, meaning that um, the damage the OE damage output potential by five elements will be even bigger with incendiary rounds. And I believe this is what they're going to play. So there's gonna be a lot of damage, OE damage potential. They need to be more careful. They need to make a play here. I don't really understand what is Zolo Zelda currently waiting. I told it before and I'm still meaning it. Zolo Zelda is uh, their tactic is beautiful, is good, is working, but they need to be more aggressive. They need to combine aggression with their XP starving strategies. This is what ultimately will unlocked. work out fantastically, but currently far too defensive. Now they know for us uh, two at least on bot lane. They see two in mid lane. They're going for the Drake team. Zulu Zelda is going for the Drake. Drake is dropping 50%. Team 5 Elements is trying to catch up. This is dangerous. Let's see. Now they're arriving actually. Now they're arriving. They won't be. They were not able to take Drake down faster enough. Are they able actually to capture him? Actually, 5 Elements is not even trying. They're just going in. Now the ultimate of the Sima. Meaning they can easily survive in this area quite a long time. However, they are still missing. The Sima is going down, getting annihilated, out of positioning. 5 Elements not a good positioning currently. The last of the team is moving in, but they're moving in too late, too late, too late. They should have been so much earlier. Still, the fight is going on. Two teams have lost two Sentinels. Now, actually, Zolo Zelda is losing more Sentinels. There are three, three Sentinels down, while Team 5 Elements is only two Sentinels down. And as expected, the damage output of the AoE damage output is huge with having a lot of sustain by playing with two. 
um, uh, support. Two artillery drone now locking finally in on the tower. They were clearing off those bases first. The uh, artillery is directly down. The ship is down there still raining havoc. So the tower, I think, 60% is maybe possible. Still falling down mid lane. Drake is moving. Drake actually was captured finally by Zolo Zelda. I completely missed this by this hole. Uh, no, I didn't miss this, but needed to be reminded of this again. Then again, look how beautifully this Drake is taken down without any effort. This is amazing. Just the combination of Decima, Flatline and Striker with his shield is abnormal. Striker needs to be the first target by Team Zoro Zelda. They need to take him down very easily, very fast in order to have an edge in the next team fight. Beautiful play by Five, five Elements. I'm surprised to see this. Um, good strategy. Uh, they are playing it very effectively. And I think that actually Five Elements is quite dangerous. They are having all means to get further by Decima's placement. They need to move around. Moving around means not shooting effectively around. So there is a lot of potential. Tower, mid tower is still possible. Team Solo Zelda lost another. Blitz is down. Tactics is out of position. Flatline ultimate goes through. Striker is pushing, however, five elements back. Now they're dropping in heads. Tactics is dropping. They still need to move as the Seamus. The Seamus AoE is pushing them out of being static in a position. Top lane at the same time getting bombarded by Terrigion. This top lane will go down. Striker will not arrive in time. He needs to take immediately his uh, uh, artillery drone down but maybe clearing out now mid lane strong push five man push by five elements uh, they can easily heal up again they can easily protect themselves very good play currently Zoro Zelda need to find an op opening they need to find an opening against against five elements they need to start pressuring now actually but both teams lost upper turrets uh, and uh, mid turret is still standing still for both teams actually i think five elements have a little bit of an edge in xp yes not xp but hp of the tower but still both teams can easily take this game home they just need to be careful the flatline and the Sima are doing so much beautiful damage on long distance uh, just with their aoe they just need to be constantly moving by constantly moving they can't shoot the Sima's aoe spell is really strong Now they're pressuring them into, into the tower again. Again, now this time Tua is a little bit out of position. Ultimate and shield from actually Decima. This usually would have been punished directly by uh, being shot down. However, this am amount of heavy support lets them survive. And again, Decima just casting her long range AoE and uh, just making sure that they're getting damage, being pushed down constantly. Top now, Artillery Drone is pushing, but not a danger. It's just in mid lane. And the new lock or lock on feature, I feel they definitely changed something there. Make makes the drone wander or walk or move through the map a little bit slower. Taking down drones goes very fast. However, four sentinels dedication on taking one drone, one tank drone is the best maybe. I think they could have done it better. Now we have a team fight going on against. Five elements, however, Zolo Zelda needs to push back. They saw them flanking coming in. They are a level ahead, so they don't want to risk anything. They pressured a little, the tower a little bit. Striker now putting, but this is the moment to engage. Now, Zolo Zelda needs to engage immediately. They have no Striker to defend. Now is the moment they see Striker on top lane. They need to engage mid then immediately. They need to get Decima down. There is no damage dealer, no real damage dealer anymore in this team. Her OE is down. This is the moment to engage directly. They're pushing the tower, which is of course a good decision. But I think an engage would have been a little bit better in this in this uh, this uh, moment. Striker was shot down by Blitz on top lane. Very strong play. Mid lane has no defense therefore anymore. Striker is the number one target. They need immediately engage. They need to have more deaths now. Blitz on the bot lane is taking artillery drones with a good timing, meaning that those artillery drones will wander to the tier two tower and start pressuring bot lanes. They need to defend this, of course. So very good counterplay to losing Striker um, as uh, Zoro Zelda has to pull back and can regroup more easily. New Drake arriving in 30 seconds. 
Super Galaxy, a little bit off positions there. He needs to be careful not to get catched out of position and being uh, put down uh, to sleep forever. Or at least for a minute. So team uh, five elements is pushing deep and tactics very beautiful engage however Decima is countering with her ultimate Blitz is trying to get in to do some damage but his ultimate he is actually stopped he is in danger to go down he needs to be very careful Mocky Monkey on Bastion is slowing him constantly striker ultimate is going in a little bit of a, of a, of a not the best positioning right now tactics still in danger he has to trigger his ultimate tries to go in to do some damage but the whole F5 element team is moving back now Benjamin is going in Zippo Zippo is out of position goes down and we have a, a team fight advantage strong team fight advantage for five elements they technically could go for uh, Drake right now but I don't think it's their strategy to go for Drake on their own they're just uh, okay with uh, trying to uh, steal it uh, from enemy team when they are attempting to do it in this constellation it makes sense it is however dangerous as you need to let the enemy team uh, control the game they detect the game and uh, only if they do make a mistake or if they do something you attack this not sure how good it is Blah! Bastion is about to go in there however they are turning back protecting their uh, drone I think they can actually fight on top lane they can search the fight they can force the fight as they are stronger but they are turning into mid lane but they are moving as five sentinels constantly with a still bug going on that you can actually hear the sound fighting sounds if a team attempts Drake of course you don't need any any visuals on the Drake to know when they're doing it so but of course this comes for both teams so both teams to adapt to it Mocky Monkey is willing to go and he is going in he is doing the damage now Rhino is trying to actually flank some tactics with Striker and Razorok on Flatland but they have to pull back as they're getting out of position because Warhead has to pull back with Blitz five elements to my surprise in the lead on this game 23 to 22 the strongest sentinel lineup is apparently five elements they're utilizing decima very well however if zolo zelda would really try to focus a down striker as they did before they lose a lot of damage as there's nobody who can be combined with decima shield to do uh, as much damage as striker so um this needs to be their main target now uh, Zolo Zelda is moving on top. I'm not sure if they're trying to to force a team fight at Drake or if they're trying to lure enemies into it. Again, Soundpack is still persistent now. Five elements should know that maybe they are attempting to go top. However, if they don't hear any fighting noises, they know they don't need to go. Very beautiful movement actually by uh, the five elements Bastion up front, followed by the rest of the team. If now, of course, they would have been flanked. It would have been dangerous, but that's why they took Watchtower to not allow this. I tell you, drone on top lane, which was taken down by Zolo Zelda, is going down. Mocky Monkey is going in now. Again, the strength of Decima, she can check those so smoke screen on a very long range and get direct division on the enemies this is very strong i think this is going to be nerfed <coughs> as a support she gets a lot of strength dabei so both teams a little bit waiting for the other team to make a mistake super galaxy rumble is on the way on his bot i believe this will be the start once they see him on bot lane now is the moment they see him on bot lane they should engage immediately as they know that there are only five four players on top and this is what happened tactic is getting out of position with his ultimate he's getting his ultimate monkey monkey stun was a little bit too late they are still dishing it out monkey monkey will go down bastion is getting sniped down we have a forward this four situation in this team fight blitz is rejoining his team meaning that now zolo zelda should technically have all by all means have the upper hand they need to make a play they need to go for drake lure drake go for drake blitz however super galaxy out of position the rest of the team, however, immediately protects by flanking. Tactics is trying to get a guess, trying to, to make a jump there. Uh, missing, allowing five elements to regroup 
uh, correctly. And then let's see. They are going for Drake. They are starting the Drake fight. It's now or never. Bastion is still down for five elements. So there's a real realistic chance to take him. Team five elements is even trying. They know they are going for it, but it's team five elements is not even trying to take him down. Very beautiful placement. They are actually shooting to trigger incendiary rounds. They are meeting Drake so early. The Drake is somehow feels like faster on, on, on those lineup, meaning that uh, potentially there was already the potential to do some damage. In the same time, five elements directly switching to bot lane, taking artillery drone. They will return to mid lane to make a fight, but they will make sure, of course, the Bastion is in time back. Both artillery drone are taken down now, so they're playing on time. Warhead is the only one pushing with the Drake, so there is some potential to do. Bastion is currently on top lane, cleaning this lane out, so everything will be push when they are fighting for Drake and they don't have any any fear of getting a uh, split pushed on the line tank drone is going down but it's what time for the team to regroup Bastion still out of position Mocky Monkey you're too long on top lane you need to come back you need to come back now now they are actually already doing some damage bot lane still dealing with the artillery drone meaning that mid lane already uh, successfully did some damage to the drake however not enough to let's see how much this drake will actually suffer right now striker needs to start shooting at the drake as no tomorrow where's the shield on striker this he needs to put a shield on striker to in increase his not on blitz this is not the best thing now they're driving ultima decima's ultimate completely saving her team they need to fall back zolo zara needs to fall back mocky monkey is following up tier two tower is going however down there will be nothing to protect you that drake is just doing too much damage but drake will be stopped at tier two tower mark and the hq won't be touched in general good play by uh, in general, I think this was a good play by uh, five uh, elements as well as Zolo Zelda, although maybe more aggression would have been better. Striker is not often enough the main target. Give a silence on Flatline, finish him off in an instant, and uh, then you can have a team fight. Uh, bot lane super galaxy is pushing uh, to achieve a split push again we're 27 minutes into this game this is a rather long game i think both teams are very careful with committing i personally think that commitment is important to make a power play however solo zelda is not the best team uh, it's not a team known for its uh, hyper aggressive play they're trying to make it very calm very controlled winning when having an advantage however the strategy won't work out in two levels anymore it didn't work out so far as good as last sunday as good as in the game before and now what counts is high aggression to see the openings to take one of the enemy sentinels down to get an advantage currently it's a little bit more passive and in two levels uh, level will be on uh, the same 30 maxed out capped out and won't play a big role uh, in the game anymore so let's see how they're going to utilize it more aggression from solo zelda a little bit i think still i'm whining about the not being that they didn't take the drag down when they had such a lead in this game however too late is too late let's see what they're going to utilize striker needs to stay alive and the Sima needs to give striker the shield not splits So, three sentinels by team Zolo Zelda on bot lane pushing into the enemy to enemy uh, base striker a little bit behind, but still with his team he will catch up very fast. Five elements more focused on top, now potting bad. So will it be too late? There will be significant damage being able to do against this tower. I think Warhead's ulti should come now, but they are pulling actually back as I can see they are defending now. Actually, huge blender by Warhead being out of position. Monkey Monkey makes gaps to close tactics out of position. However, the silence is running off tactics with his ultimate. Five elements completely pulling away. This team has abandoned him. Zoro Zelda knows they can't do anything for him. And we have continued two sentinels down for Zolo Zelda 
Uh, sorry, yeah, for Zulu Zelda, Five Elements needs to make a play right now. Drake back in one and a half minutes. This is too late. They need to make a play right now. They need to either try to engage uh, the other Sentinels to, you know, when they, when when uh, Rhino and uh, Warhead comes back that someone else is missing. They need to utilize their advantage right now. They're trying to do it with a split push. Bot lane is split pushing. Bastion and Decima. And mid lane is pushing with Flatline Striker and Blitz. Careful, Striker is holding himself back. They know he is important in this team constellation. He can't be out of position. If he's out of position, there will be, uh, could be a big blender. Striker should switch on bot lane. Why is he not with the Seema? Striker and the Seema is such a beautiful combo. They need to utilize it more. 10 seconds still. Rhino is back. Warhead is back in order to defend. <coughs> they don't utilize fully their damage. Need to fall back now because they are afraid to get ganked. Two less aggressions there, Raiken. Why aren't you running with the Seema? The Seema shield increases your outer attack damage. <coughs> if I'm not completely wrong, let's see. Yeah, base attacks slow enemies and deal additional damage. This is a must have for Striker. They need to utilize it more. I don't understand. Striker is constantly split away from the Seema. This is a mistake. Drake is back on the battlefield. 30 minutes into this game, both teams too scared to play, uh, too, both very passive. I don't think this is the best thing in Shards of War. Attempt to jump into didn't work out properly. Semi Sun on Blitz got the shield this time to achieve more damage. Which is good for initiation, but right or you can on striker should have done. They don't protect their tank drone at all. They're afraid of being uh, on the countered on the side, flanked on the side. Tank drone is moving in, but then warhead is cleaning the wave. Now the five elements is moving into Drake region, and I'm not sure if they're trying to take him down or just pretending. No, they're pulling back. Too risky. Uh, opening this fight is of course dangerous. I still think that uh, they can take down Drake very fast with Striker and uh, Decima and Flatline, but they don't want to risk it. So they're waiting till Zolo Elements is going in. They are trying to camp them, find a good angle here. Mocky Monkey is waiting for the opening to jump in, but it takes too much time, guys. You need to find the openings immediately and then you need to go in for the soft targets. Striker was catched by the Seamus, uh, so they know that he is there, but of course he knows that she is here. A long range, look how wrong this range is. She can stand here, cast this AU here and they're getting damage here. However, they are healing up. That's actually flatline. Flatland doesn't have the, he should have the item on A, which allow him to take it. Now completely out of position. How can you do this? You can't be out of position there. Super Galaxy Rumble, huge blender. Sorry for you, buddy, but that was big and bad. You can't be such out of position there. Two uh, tactics now out of position as well. Striker opening correctly with his ultimate. Forcing the other striker to come back. Decima's ulti is triggered. This team fight is going towards five elements again. Tactics out of position gets annihilated. Three sentinels only left now. Team five elements is going for the drake. I don't believe there's anything they can do. Zolo Zelda can do to stop it. They don't know how to counter this strategy. And it's, I don't think it's actually that hard. But you need to commit to something to play aggressive and then it's working out this way, of course. If you let them, if you wait and let them the uh, position the themselves, engage the themselves, you don't come back. And of course, if you're completely out of position like Super Galaxy was in this moment, this cost a lot too. Uh, five elements directly taking down artillery, John struggle, struggle to defend top lane, mid. For a second, I thought this was Drake, and I was like, How the hell did uh, Zulu Zelda take Drake down? Right. Drake, four, five elements moving through mid lane. Five elements already positioning themselves uh, near the tier two tower, mid lane, tier two tower to pressure it. Top lane is still pressured by the artillery drone and Blitz, Blitz abandoning. The artillery drone did, however, its damage. Shield is down, mid lane tank drone is down. We have 30, both uh, teams on level 30. Yeah. 
So currently we are having a strong push. Now the right positioning will determine how deep uh, five elements will push into this into, into the uh, uh, Zolo Zelda base. Zolo Zelda needs already to do some damage. They are too passive. They're trying to fall back. They're scared, but they will dive. They can dive. They, why actually they're not doing anything? They're directly switching on bot lane and trying to take bot tower. Not sure if this is the wisest decision. They have such a strong push capabilities. Let's see if they're getting the tower down. Mid lane Drake is down now. <clears throat> tower on bot lane is 30%. Uh, Bastion went down, is down for five elements. Is there a follow up? Is Medidas the Zola Zelda? Zolo Zelda actually follow up? No, they need to fall back as well. So mid tower got severely damaged. Let's say 50%. Bot tower is down to 30%. But there is no tower 4. So why did they suddenly switch. This running distance was just too long compared to this running distance. I think this was a blender. Let's save this replay and analyze it later. But this is, uh, this is, um, this was a mistake. This running distance which they need to reach the bottom tower is so much longer than compared to Zulu Zelda's running distance. Now, Bastion still dead. Blitz again, Super Galaxy Rumble again, out of position, getting annihilated. And again, his team has to face now soon. In 10 seconds, five versus four situations. So they can't make a play. Second mistake, sadly, by Galaxy Rumble. Let's see what else they would like. Of course, Zulu Zelda is not out. They can easily retake this game with one mistake by five elements. But it would be very interesting as Zulu Zelda is the only <coughs> team with a different strategy. However, again, their strategy is not aggressive enough. They have a beautiful strategy. They have beautiful timing. They know how to starve enemies. They know how to freeze lanes. Fantastic. But you need to be aggressive with it. You can't just, you can't just fall back in, in shards of war and... and, and yeah, I don't know. Wait for what? So, uh, team of five elements gathering in mid lane. They're trying to pressure this tower before the shield is completely up. But uh, Blitz uh, Kemixan is pushing bot with artillery drones. So they have an opening currently to fight in an advantage. However, he needs to either retreat now. He should maybe make the jump. On Rumble, but he doesn't submit. Artillery drone goes wasted. But let's see, is he engaging? Artillery drone is still alive. Starts shooting now. I think they need to commit to this now. Tower getting damage. Artillery drone is doing a lot on damage. As you can see, this is huge. <clears throat> the Sima is booms. Wow, so much damage. Actually, I this is more than right. Yeah, now the team fight is going on. The Seema's ultimate is going on. The Seema, however, is the first one to go down. Team Zolo Zelda, however, lost already. See, three Sentinels on his striker and Warhead are staying alive. This was a beautiful engage. Five, five elements, and this now can be game breaking. Team five elements can still push. They will start tanking the tower now and just go for it. They have the capabilities to heal up again with. Flatman with a supporter, the tower is going down in mid lane. Very beautiful play. Now they need to retreat, but they got two tier two tower. This is huge. Will they go for the third one? No. They will fall back. And I think the huge amount of damage which is caused by. Yes. I think the Atropic Ray is currently one of the secret weapons which um, Flatline and the Sima are doing. As you could see, uh, we will try to see it in the replay. I believe that by hitting it, with their spells, towers are losing defense as well. Meaning that this artillery strike was doing so much damage more than it usually does, or maybe it's just because it is so high in um, in the levels already. We are at uh, 39 minutes, so those artillery drones are beasties. They are getting stronger with the game progression. But I think this this um, what is it called entropic ray is definitely doing its part. I could be wrong. We need to we need to definitely. We need to definitely uh, analyze this, um, but I think Entropic Ray looks like it works against towers.
So, uh, team Solozella is now finally, finally searching for the opening, going against, however, going against a Blitz, who, no one knows, has a lot of mobility when Focus Tactics, the Sima Ulti goes down again, uh, full team, full HP, the team fight stops, now is actually the time Team Zolo needs to pressure, the Sima Ulti is down, they need to pressure now hard, the Rhino, however, moved back on top lane to defend against uh, Artillery drone team, five elements is moving together. Direction Drake, I wonder if they're going to attempt it. Do they give away vision now? Blitz is on bot lane, team five elements now. He needs to defend. They're going for Drake. This is the first direct Drake attempt by five elements. Will they be successful? They're moving in. Zolo Zelda is moving in with Flatline, Warhead, and Rhino. Potentially they can stop them a little bit, but they need to go in. Still, Drake is not undefended. They guys going for Drake. They're going for the kill here. Far too out. Tactics, however, is in time to pretend capture. They can't move out. Now a little bit of a trouble. Mocking Monkey is finally moving back in. We have two Sentinels down by Team 5 Elements. Mocking Monkey is going down as well. We have three Sentinels, four Sentinels. Only Blitz is alive. This is a huge comeback for Solo Zelda. They're taking, retaking Drake. And now, now, Five Elements is in trouble. Completely, completely aced actually. Blitz was catched by Super Galaxy who sprinted behind him. Team Zola Zelda has a huge lead right now. Drake is moving in. They have no tower to defend. I think this could be this could be the end for this game. Very beautiful played by five elements, but it's not over yet. However, they look how deep it's dropping. They have no chance to come back. 40%, 30%, 20%, 10%, and Zola Zelda manages to come back in this game. They experience one mistake by five elements, by the experience, by the use. They're having an advantage, they're going in for Drake and just don't have enough damage in this very moment. Very beautifully, very good play by Zolo Zelda. They are stopping them just in time. Tactics moves into Drake just in time.